welcome to our channel where we'll dive into the life of Jet Li, the legendary Chinese martial arts actor and film star. Today, we'll uncover some important and lesser known facts about Jet Li's life, career, and philanthropic efforts. Join us as we delve into the world of Jet Li, the master of martial arts. Jet Li is a highly esteemed figure in the martial arts film industry, renowned for his lightning fast moves and charming sense of humor. He is a champion martial artist and accomplished Chinese film actor who continues to captivate audiences with his dynamic performance. In addition to his mastery of wushu, Jet Li has also excelled in several styles within the discipline, including Chung Quan, Fen Ziquan, Baguazhang, Tai Ji Quan, Xing Yi Quan, Zua Quan, Ying Zhao Quan, and Tang Lan Quan. He is also proficient in the use of various weapons commonly employed in wushu, such as the Sanji Gun, Gun, Dao, and Jian. Jet Li, whose birth name is Li Lianjia, was born on April 26, 1963, in Beijing, China. He was the youngest of five children, with two older brothers and two older sisters. He was born to parents Zhang Fenglan and Li Qingchuan. At the young age of two, Jet Li lost his father, which resulted in financial hardship for him and his family. Due to their limited resources, he was enrolled in the Beijing Amateur Sports School, which also provided him with meals. Despite these challenges, he went on to make a name for himself in the world of martial arts and cinema. At the age of eight, Jet Li began learning Wushu, a form of martial arts, as part of a summer program. Out of a group of 1,000 kids, he was selected as one of only 20 to receive extensive training. training. Despite his mother's concerns for his safety and reluctance to let him participate in any activity deemed even slightly dangerous, such as swimming or riding a bicycle, Jet Li's natural talent and dedication to Wushu led him to great success. At the young age of nine, Jet Li achieved great success in the world of Wushu when he won an award for excellence at the national championships. His skill and talent were further recognized when he was chosen to perform at the opening ceremony of the Pan-Asian African Latin American Table Tennis Championship, where he received high praise from the then premier Zhou Enlai. This early recognition helped launch his career and set him on the path to becoming a renowned martial arts and film actor. At the age of 11, Jet Li accomplished a major milestone in his martial arts career by winning his first national championship. This victory opened up new opportunities for him and he soon found himself traveling to over 45 countries as part of the Beijing Wushu team, including the United States. Through these experiences, Jet Li gained valuable exposure and honed his skills, establishing himself as a top martial artist on the global stage. At the age of 12, Jet Li achieved yet another impressive feat in the world of Wushu when he became the all-around national champion. Despite suffering an injury to his head from his saber during the qualifying rounds, he persevered and claimed the national title. He held this title for an impressive five consecutive years until his retirement from competition in 1979. This impressive record solidified his reputation as one of the greatest martial artists of his time. Jet Li's win at the all-around National Wushu Championships was a sensation in the world of martial arts. At just 12 years old, he was significantly younger than the other two medalists, who were in their mid to late 20s. The award ceremony was an unforgettable sight, with the young Jet Li standing on the top step of the podium, still shorter than the other medalists. Despite his youthful appearance, he had already demonstrated incredible skill and talent, and his first place win was a testament to his ability as a martial artist. While on a goodwill tour at the Honolulu International Airport, Jet Li had a chance encounter that showcased his innocence and unawareness of political issues. He spotted an airplane on the runway with China Airlines written on it and excitedly yelled, Wow! Look, it's an airplane from China. However, this proved to be a sensitive political issue as China Airlines is actually owned and operated by a Taiwanese company. This incident highlights Jet Li's pure intentions and childlike wonder, but also serves as a reminder of the complexities and nuances of political relationships. The final destination of the U.S. tour was Washington, D.C. Here, 
Jet Li was selected as one of the few to perform Wushu routines on the lawn of the White House. After the performance, President Richard Nixon jokingly suggested that Jet Li become his bodyguard in the future. However, Jet Li's response showcased his patriotic spirit and determination. He firmly replied, No, I don't want to protect any individual. When I grow up, I want to defend my one million Chinese countrymen. This moment not only highlighted Jet Li's impressive martial arts skills, but also his unwavering dedication to his country and its people. But after his interactions with American presidents and his successful goodwill tour, Jet Li's fame began to soar in China. He was hailed as a national hero and was even honored with a place on the official welcoming committee for subsequent visits by American presidents Ford and Carter. This recognition further solidified Jet Li's pl place as a special contributor to Sino-American relations. Jet Li retired from competitive wushu at 17 and transitioned to film acting. He made his debut in the 1982 film Shaolin Temple, which was a huge success and played a role in making the Shaolin Monastery a popular tourist destination. Li made his film debut in 1982 with Shaolin Temple, a martial arts film directed by Chang Hsan Yen. The film was a huge success, helping to turn the Shaolin Monastery into a popular tourist destination. He later directed and starred in the 1986 film Born to Defense. During the shooting of this film, Lee broke his nose, leaving a scar that remains to this day. Lee married Beijing Wushu team member and co-star Wang Chuyin in 1987 and had two daughters, C and Tiny, before their divorce in 1990. In 1988, Jet Li attempted to break into Hollywood, but language barriers limited his opportunities. He shifted to Hong Kong and quickly became the top star of the early 1990s kung fu film boom. In 1991, Lee starred as Wang Fei Hung a Chinese martial arts master and folk hero in Once Upon a Time in China. He also appeared in its sequels, as well as in Swordsman 2 and The Master. In the 1990s, Jet Li was considering retiring from acting due to burnout and turned to studying Tibetan Buddhism to focus on his spiritual life. However, a Buddhist teacher advised him to continue his work as he had a responsibility to do so. In 1998, Li made his Hollywood debut as a villain in the action comedy film Lethal Weapon 4. Directed by Richard Donner, Li was asked to slow down his action sequences as they were too fast for the camera to capture. It marked the first time in his career that he played a villainous role. Li relocated to Los Angeles and spent considerable time with an English tutor to hone his language skills for his role in Lethal Weapon 4. His hard work paid off as he went on to give a standout performance in the action film Romeo Must Die in 2000, co-starring the late singer Aaliyah. The film is considered his breakthrough in the American film industry. In 1999, Lee married his longtime girlfriend and Hong Kong-based actress, Nina Lee Chi during this time. He honored his promise to his wife to take a break and spend time with her during her pregnancy. This even led him to decline a role in the highly successful martial arts film, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. In 2001, Lee starred in the film Kiss of the Dragon alongside Bridget Fonda. Known for its more mature themes and graphic violence, Lee took to his website to warn parents that the film was not suitable for children. Despite this, Lee's character in the film still managed to defeat the bad guys using everyday objects such as a mop, iron, billiard ball, and clubs. After the one, Lee starred in the expensive Chinese movie Hero, directed by Zhang Yimou. It was the first foreign language film to open at number one in the U.S. and was nominated for an Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film. In 2003, Lee lent his voice in English and Mandarin for the video game Rise to Honor on Sony PlayStation 2, performing fight scenes through motion capture technology. In 2003, People magazine named Lee a runner-up in its Sexiest Man Alive list. Lee is also a devout Buddhist and spends over an hour each day in meditation, often taking time to study and deepen his understanding of Buddhism in Asia. But Lee believes that the greatest weapon is a smile and the greatest power is love, which he aims to convey through his films. In Hero, 
he portrays that a nation's suffering is more important than an individual's. Unleashed highlights the idea that violence is never a solution, and in Fearless, Lee conveys that a person's biggest enemy is themselves. In 2004, Lee and his daughter survived a close brush with death during a vacation in the Maldives. They were in the hotel lobby when the devastating tsunami hit the Indian Ocean region. He the visionary award from East West Players in 2002 and launched his own fitness program, Wuji, in 2009, which combines martial arts and yoga. In 2013, Lee revealed that he had been struggling with hyperthyroidism for three years and was taking medication to control his heart rate which can reach up to 130 to 140 beats per minute at rest. He was advised by doctors to avoid physical exertion. In 2006, Li became an ambassador for the Red Cross Society of China, and he established his own non-profit organization, the One Foundation, dedicated to promoting mental health awareness, preventing suicide, and providing disaster relief. We hope you enjoyed learning about Jet Li and his incredible journey in the world of martial arts and entertainment. With his unparalleled skills, charming demeanor, and humanitarian efforts, Jet Li continues to inspire fans around the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting and lesser-known facts about your favorite celebrities. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.